All right, live look at the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Of course, today we salute the millions of men and women who have served and continue to serve and sacrifice so much for our country. And we salute Help Heal Veterans. It's an organization that provides craft kits to veterans and those in active duty to help them heal from T PTSD and their injuries. The kits for therapy, which literally helped me. I have uh, traumatic brain injury. I have uh, severe PTSD and four surgeries on my knee, left knee. The classes that we have, the painting and all that has opened up my mind to being able to do other things. Wonderful organization. Joe McLean is a retired Navy captain and its CEO. He joins us to talk about his new 50 50 50 campaign in celebration of its 50th anniversary. Good morning, Captain. Thank you so much for your service, sir. We appreciate you being here on Start Your Day. First and foremost, got to ask you uh, why are you so passionate about this? Why get into this uh, after you retire? You know, I think, uh, you know, I worked in, the, in corporate America for a while, like after I retired while I was stationed in D.C. And I think I wanted to come back to serve because part of being in the military, as, as you all probably know, is that you're part of a tribe. You're part of your brothers and sisters, something special. And that thing of serving something bigger than yourself, you know, helping your fellow man, your fellow war fighters. I mean, that's a pretty powerful thing. And I feel very blessed that I can do that, you know, can still continue to serve and uh Try to do what we can as a team to make a difference in the lives of those who are going through so much. Third generation uh, serviceman. I uh, understand your son is also uh, Navy enlisted. Uh, uh, thank you for his service as well. Thank him for his service, I should say. Uh, what was life like when you left the Navy and, and, and you had to transition back into the, the real world, as we call it, civilian life? You know, it's, it was a bit of a challenge. And, you know, I, luckily I had some mentors, some uh, some folks uh, who were who had passed, you know, out of the service before me. I was able to ask them for advice, but you're coming out of something where you're go, go, go. You're part of a certain tribe. You're dealing with people who, uh, who frankly, you know, tend to work as a team. That's how you've been trained to do. And there are great, you know, organizations within, uh, you know, corporate America that do that as well. But it's a transition. So it can be a little bit tough because you're learning a different language. You're learning how your all those great skills you developed in your time in service can apply and make a difference in your local community. And most do that, but it's, it, is, it can be trying for some of our veterans, especially those who may be suffering from uh, some of the baggage or the challenges from their time in service, and especially those who uh, went through conflict. Uh, did you uh, actually suffer from some of these, uh, the baggage as you call it, uh, PTSD, any injuries yourself, or was it just some of the people that you serve with that, that made you so passionate about this? A little bit of both, you know, when I kind of got out of the Navy, just to be very open, you know, I had some, not issues, but uh, I need to talk to somebody. And uh, I mm -hmm. found a great uh, clinician who helped me kind of get on a certain path. And uh, and I value that in his time that he spent me, that he helped me kind of get look at life in a certain different way and by going through some therapy. But it was very, very minor compared to what a lot of our warfighters kind of go through. But what that does, it gives me a passion, not just that, I want to help, but I know that this therapies that are out there that the, that the VA, DOD, and other healthcare providers are have available for our folks who may be suffering traumatic brain injury, PTSD, or substance abuse, they can work. But it's that access to healthcare, that desire to step up and try to get that therapy, to be aware that that help is out there that uh, that's kind of lacking in some communities. Yeah, and when we see how it helped, I, I was mentioning to uh, my co-host that I'm actually a, a disabled veteran myself, getting 50 percent, not quite as as severe as a lot of other people, PTSD and a lot of traumatic brain injuries, obviously. But obviously, there 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 are programs out there that need uh, for veterans such as myself uh, to to be a part of, so that we can get the help that we need out there. But I've seen other veterans in far worse conditions, and a lot of times not getting the help they need, and we've heard so many stories about how the VA and how uh, they've been treated at the VA. Uh, do you feel like now that the government, that the Veterans Administration and new administration that's coming in, or even the previous administration, they're doing more to help out these veterans cope with life after the military, after they've gone through these issues in these circumstances? 
Yeah, I think so. I think they learn. You know, the VA is a, is a, is a, is a big organization. I've worked closely with uh, some of the leaders, but, you know, we focus mostly on those in the healthcare profession, so the docs, the clinicians, whatnot like that. So I will say that all the docs and the clinicians, people that I have worked with in the VA, truly care about those who are trying to serve. But it's a bureaucracy, and sometimes bureaucracy needs to be fixed in order to really get to the people they're looking to get to to help. Uh, so, yeah, I think, uh, but, you know, what you said a little bit earlier about, you know, yourself as a veteran and you're concerned about other veterans is something that we see a lot is that a veteran tends to ask mm -hmm. for help for anybody but themselves. Help my brother, help my mm -hmm. sister, I'm okay, you know, and that's kind of the way we were brought up you know, in, a, in a lot of ways. And uh, so that was, mm -hmm. that's, don't, I don't need it because I would better serve for them. So I think we have to encourage them to really step up and help themselves. That's when it's good to talk to a family member, your doc, your pastor. And I think that's a big piece of our message. Yes, we do the craft kits. They help with uh, as an adjunct piece of therapy to uh, to help support someone who's going to see a doctor for TBI, TBI or PTSD. And it's pretty amazing what they do as far as, you know, chronic, helping chronic pain or that, that perception there or helping you with substance abuse or mostly the fine motor skills at TBI. So it's very helpful, mm -hmm. you know, on top of, but it, the primary thing is go see your doctor or talk to somebody first. We love that. Let's tell us about this 50-50-50 uh, campaign as you celebrate the 50th anniversary. Yeah, you know, so we've, I've been the CEO for about five or six years, but Help Heal Veterans been around since the Vietnam War. And it's kind of, and, uh, kind of unique in a way that, you know, we've been through the, the Vietnam vets throughout, you know, because they were young 18-year-olds all the way now. A lot of them are in senior centers and whatnot like that. And so what we want to do is honor that 50 years of service that we provided, but also provide 50 stories that uh, that show that there is help out there, that, you know, someone who's kind of gone mm. through some challenges post Vietnam or whatnot, or even through IOIF, OEF, can can uh, get better. So those stories are out there, out there, not just to show what we do, but mostly to inspire others to get help. And I think it's kind of unique this Veterans Day as we have wound down in Afghanistan and Iraq, a lot of our mm -hmm. uh, our young war fighters have gone so hard for the last 20 years, and now they stop. It's kind of like after our Vietnam vets. You stop and reflect, right. and that, all mm -hmm. that stuff starts to catch up with you, you know? And now's the time that even though we may not be in the news anymore, kind of like the other story that you all told earlier, which was very heartbreaking, uh, you know, you need to, you know, we need to remember that our veterans are now, all that stuff is going to start catching up with them. So, it's time for us mm -hmm. to really, really make the effort to pay attention, to make sure our folks are just back from Afghanistan and Iraq. You seek out the help when they need it. Yeah, I, I, and I, I mentioned this earlier. It's more important than ever. I mean, it was the first time we were without conflict in, in 20 years on this Veterans Day right now. And now that you got to keep them busy, but you also got to continue to appreciate the veterans who have served and continue to serve because it's still just as important here. Uh, we want to help. Uh, how can veterans, how can uh, people, uh, civilians help out with this organization to be a part of this, to continue this, uh, this, this, uh, this great program that you have going? You know, I think it's a, a couple. Like, first off, you know, uh, if you know a veteran in your life, we encourage you to get involved, whether they're close or not, because sometimes encouraging, it's going to be help from others, you know, your family or your neighborhood or community or church that's going to encourage you to get help. Uh, second, if you want to learn more, visit us at healvets.org, H-E-A-L, vets.org. You can learn about volunteer opportunities, donation. We're a nonprofit. We give away all our kits for free. We've done about $31 million in the last 50 years and about half a million every year. And these go to VA hospitals, DOD facilities, all the way down to small urban uh, church centers like in Chicago, where we help small veterans programs in a church or a community center in the inner city. All right. Captain McLean, it's been great talking to you. Uh, best of luck with everything you're doing. It's good to see an officer actually do some work. Uh, <laughs> you're one of those guys. <laughs> it's an enlisted <laughs> officer thing that the military people do. Keep on doing some great yeah, work, right. man. Thanks for joining us here this morning on Start Your Day. Happy Veterans Day to you again. 